You're listening to World of Empowerment Radio. Your station for practical spirituality in a changing world. And here are your hosts, Angel Rose and Ahanu. Hi, you are very welcome. I am Ahanu and with me is my lovely Angel Rose. We haven't seen Angel Rose for a little while. She's been lying low and being shy of the camera, but now we have her. <laughs> <laughs> well, today we're coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. And a couple of weeks ago, we put out a little video all about predictions because we felt that there was so much predictions being thrown around the place, weren't there, Angel Rose, about all sorts of negative stuff, mostly negative now. We haven't seen or heard a positive prediction of any kind, all negative. And we felt that we would just have a little chat about it today in the sense of how we create our outcomes, how we manifest stuff. Because Angel Rose had written a book too, about manifesting, uh, the little the, the book of manifesting. And it was a little book about how to create your best life. And all these predictions, we feel, were all about not creating our best life. In other words, manifesting fearful outcomes and war and pestilence and disease and all this stuff. And these kinds of predictions we felt were coming from people who we felt should know better. What do you have to say about that, Angel Rose? Well, I have to say what I said this morning, that I'm kind of up to here about hearing stuff. And, um, and I got to the fact that I don't believe any of them because I still go back to the fact that, you know, we are sovereign beings in our own self and we all need to be going in within instead of looking to outside sources to tell us what's going to happen. Indeed. And that we should just be observing life and living life in the moment instead of focusing on outcomes that yeah. could turn dire. Yes. Because so far, everything's okay. Like we heard terrible stories about if Trump got elected, what would happen? Or if Kamala Harris got elected, what would happen? And so far, nothing really horrible has actually happened. But it's even other kinds of predictions, not only that. I mean, sure, that takes the attention of the United States, but there's stuff going on all over the world where people talk about predictions too. And it's, it's always negative outcomes. And where, where we were coming around to in our terms of our discussion was that, sure, it's like as if it's a reflection of our past or that everything we're creating is like more of the same, in other words, coming from that place of needing to be certain about something. And it always... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> and it always seems to be a negative outcome. So we're taking the stance... I just think, too, yeah. even the, the whole predictions about the financial situation yes. now and... Everything. It's, it's about everything. Is, I was getting the message that we shouldn't be focusing on anything negative about anybody or anything. Yeah. No matter who it is. Yeah. It's not just politics. I mean, it's climate change and it's financial systems and it's, 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 it's absolutely everywhere. Everything is all about. But anyway, I think that, you know, I mentioned the word taking a stance and even that in itself has its own implications. And it's not that we're taking a stance. Really, it's, it's we're removing our stance, actually. We're just observing and taking our attention and our focus away from, from adding to these kinds of outcomes with our powerful minds. Plus, I think that anything that you decide to think that's negative about anybody is an error. Because you shouldn't be thinking anything about anybody. No matter who it is. Yeah. No matter what you've been told, no matter what you think, you should just be holding their highest probability in your mind. If you were truly going to be living as a sovereign self, don't have any opinions about anybody. That's what I'm, Yeah. the message I was getting. Yeah. And always bounce everything off your own heart and make love the decider. 
sold. I remember somebody giving the example before, if you had a decision to make or you were, had an opinion of something, what would Jesus think or what would God do? You know, these are very, very valid kinds of questions to ask in the face of all of this. And I think you would find that the answer would be it would take the most loving stance of all. Well, just ask your own inner self about anything. You know, and I don't think that your inner self is going to point fingers at anybody and say, this one's a criminal and that one's a criminal. I think it'll only bring you peace and love. Yeah. And I think that's what we need to be focusing on. Yes, indeed. Isn't the, uh, the line from the Course in Miracles, doesn't it say, I could choose peace instead of this? It also says, if I defend myself, I am attacked. And that was the whole big lesson about attacking other people, yeah, wasn't it, Hanno? That's right, that's right. That's right. And I'll think of all the different ways we attack other people, and it's just, yeah. it's just not good. Yeah. Okay, that's it, folks. Short and sweet, all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. We love you. Blessings, and have a fantastic time. Right. Bye-bye. You have been listening to Angel Rose and Ahanu on World of Empowerment Radio, your station for practical spirituality in a changing world.